What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Killer NC, and today we're gonna do an unboxing and installation of the Corsair H100i uh, Hydro Series liquid cooling unit. So, without further ado, let's begin. First, let's take a look around the box. Let's see what we have here. Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler is both for Intel and AMD. Hydro Series. I'll do it on that side. Alright, so we have some dimensions here. Fan dimensions, uh, 120 millimeters. Uh, fan speed, 2700 uh, RPMs. Radiator dimensions is 122 millimeters by 275 millimeters by 27 millimeters. Okay. Uh, fan noise level 37.68 decibels. And let's see what we have in the back. All right, the sockets Intel, LGA 1150, 1155, 1156, 1366, and 2011. For AMD, AMD, AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2. For the processors Intel Celeron, Pentium Core, i3, i5, i7. AMD Athlon 64 Family, Octoron, Sepron, Phenom, Phenom 2, Athlon 2, Optel 138X, and the A Series. In the box, we have the Hydro Series H100i, two 120mm Corsair fans, FP120L. I have actually the AF120 LED ones, um, so I'm going to take a look because I'm probably going to use the color uh, LED ones. Magnetic mounting bracket and mounting hardware. Quick start guide. Corsair link cable. Let's open her up. Warranty. The quick start guide. I'll definitely be reading that. Don't want to mess anything up. And here we have the two fans. Twelve volts. The Corsair link and the uh, cable for the fans. Here we have the mounting brackets. This for Intel and this is for AMD. Bunch of screws. I find out where they go. And last but not least, our H100i. Okay. Got the thermal uh, paste already on there which is good. I like the square shape of it. I had a round one and I don't know. I don't like it. So that's a plus in my book. So here we have it. The Corsair H100i. So let's go ahead and install it into our Phantom 410. So instead of using the fans that came with the radiator. We're gonna go ahead and install these. The Corsair AF120, they're red LED. Goes perfect with our theme. So that's what I'm gonna be installing instead of these stock fans. First thing, 
we got to take off the 140 millimeter fan that we have on the top. And I can't find my screwdriver. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that off. So let's go ahead and put the other two in now. Here we go. First fan. Fortunately, I cannot put the fans with the radiator before putting it in the case as this radiator is actually going to sit on top of the case. And I'm going to put the radiator, the fans inside the case. Thinking about it, I should have probably <clears throat> installed these before I installed the motherboard, but I didn't know that I was going to get the H100i, so my defense. And let's go ahead and put the other one. Bring you guys a little closer. Alright, so there are the fans. And now we're going to go ahead and pump. So. Okay. Insert the AMD screw clips and secure them with the screws as shown. Do not tighten the thumb screws all the way. Okay. That's these, these little boards right here. I'll try to zoom in on them. There we go. And then we're going to use these to tighten it down. Let's go ahead and do that. And it said, do not tighten them all the way. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll find out why. What I'm going to do right now is I've got to put the brackets that came with the motherboard, the stock brackets, back on as this cooler actually utilizes them. So, glad I still had them hanging around. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the two fans to the pump. And where are they? Here's one. Take this off. Okay. And now we'll install the Corsair 
link cable. All right guys, so there you have it. The Corsair H100i is installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next item on my list, in my building list. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys on the next one.